Hello and welcome everyone! Today we are on week two of our little Halloween costume celebration kind of series, I guess. But before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to Dossier who is making this video possible today. All right, thank you so much to Dossier. Dossier reproduces classic high-end luxury scents, but at a fraction of the price, keeping the same high-end quality by cutting all the expenses in the infamous brand tax. Dossier has a risk-free system, allowing customers to try out the perfumes before committing. And if the customer decides to return the scent, they offer a 30-day return policy. And in that period, customers can return any unsealed 50 milliliter Dossier perfume and get a full refund with no questions asked. I really love Dossier because their perfumes are super affordable. Any scent on their website is $39, whereas most perfume brands will range anywhere from like $50 to $250. So it's great if you're looking something more on the affordable end or are somebody who likes to have multiple different perfumes to kind of cycle through depending on the mood of the day. They have free returns and exchanges forever and they have awesome bulk deals if you're looking to buy multiple perfumes. They give up to 25% discounts on three or more bottles being sold. They're constantly adding new scents to the website and they love getting customer feedback to hear scents that people would like to see in the future. So I have two scents to share with you here today that I picked out. They come in these cute little boxes, super nice. And then each one has a little card inside which tells you a little bit about the perfume. So this first one that I got is Woody Peony and the top notes are peach, lychee, bergamot with middle notes like jasmine, orange blossom, peony, white flowers, and then base notes like musk and oak moss and woods. And then it also tells you the perfume that it's inspired by. So if you have a luxury perfume that you really enjoy right now, but maybe it's just a little too much for your budget, um, check out if Dossier has a scent that's inspired off of that perfume. I love this because I'm pretty partial to like more of earthy. Mm, I usually stay away from more like floral scents. Peonies are my favorite flower though, and the mix of like the woody scents with the more floral is such a nice balance. Andrew and I will be sharing this one. And then this one is probably my favorite of the two. It is Amber Cherry, and it literally smells like amaretto. So the top notes are cherry, almond, cinnamon, and middle notes of clove, rose, jasmine, plum, base notes, Peru balsam, Tonka bean and vanilla, and this one's inspired by Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Yeah, this one's great. It smells like cherries and chocolate, and um, yeah, if you want to smell like a dessert in all of the best ways, not like, um, you know, a confetti candle or something like that, this is the one to go to. It's like a sophisticated snack is what I would describe it as. <laughs> and Dacia has a new payment method which allows you to earn in-store credit. At the checkout, select catch during the last step and you can earn a $10 sign-on bonus credit. And you'll get rewarded with a 10% store credit on every order when you use catch. So Dacia is giving me a 10% discount code for you all to use if you want to check out some perfumes. I'm going to have that link down in the description and they also have a welcome offer on the website of 20% off so if you use the link down below you can get up to 30% off on your order so once again thank you so much to dossier i absolutely love partnering with you make sure to check out the link down in the description if you use dossier let me know some of your favorite perfumes from them and let's get back to the video Okay, thank you so much, Dossier. Remember to check the link down in the description and use the code to get an extra 10% off. So today we are going to be doing a costume based off of Betty Boop, the vintage cartoon. I feel like it's very important to say um, and something also very interesting is that Betty Boop's character was based off of a real life jazz singer and entertainer, Esther Jones and then was whitewashed clearly because Esther is a black woman. I just think it's interesting, something to kind of think about. And I feel like something important to say if I'm going to be doing a look based off of her. It's a weird thing that that even happened. And um, I think it's super weird that a company or artist then made a bunch of money off of Esther's 
character and her image and Esther didn't get anything from it. Something that I wanted to state before getting into everything. But I love Betty. I think she is such an adorable character. Uh, my aunt is really in love with Betty Boop. She has a bunch of Betty Boop memorabilia around her house. And I'm really excited to try and style my hair like hers. So looking at pictures of Betty, it doesn't really look like she has much blush on or anything. Maybe I'll keep it like that and we'll see at the end if it really needs some to kind of finish the look off. But I kind of want to try and keep it as true to the character as possible. I'm adding my zillion year old concealer, which I just realized has a crack in the tube here. So it looks like it's time is about up, <laughs> but I'm just gonna do this to kind of even out the skin tone in some areas since I'm not gonna be adding the blush. And then I'll just do like a light face powder over it. Oh, the sun is so bright right now. Okay, so next, I think I'm gonna start doing the eyeshadow and it doesn't really look like she has anything on. So I'm just gonna go, phone was sliding down. Um, so she doesn't wear really any eyeshadow, at least any colored stuff. So I'm going to be just using some neutrals and kind of shading in the crease. Okay, so first I'm just going to take a giant brush and like my lightest nude and go all over. And now I'm just going to use some like darker neutrals in my crease and like building it up into the darkest dark. So I started off with like a mixture of this, this, and this. Um, some of my lightest ones, cause I dropped this and broke my lightest one everywhere, unfortunately. But now I feel like I'm gonna go more in this route, maybe a little bit of this, you'll see. I'm just gonna be trying to do more of a rounded shape too because Betty has very round eyes, so I'm gonna be keeping that in mind instead of going along with my natural crease shape so much. Then just blend that back in with the lighter stuff. Kind of like an add blend, add blend type of a situation. Okay, smaller brush, as you can see here. And I'm going in with more of those darker shades now. Definitely doing the rounded shape. Okay, I don't wanna go too dark, but now I'm going to blend this out. First with a smaller brush, just to make sure the line is even itself. And now I'm gonna go with the bigger brush, put a little bit more of like the lighter color on it and just kind of blend out the ends. Okay, this is what we're working with so far. Just kind of uh, it kind of adds a little definition to the eye. Now I feel like it's only right to add a little bit of kind of a goldy cream. So I'm going to do that. This is it. So that's one eyeshadow done. I'll go back and finish the other eye off camera. I think I'm going to take this white eyeliner. I'm gonna sharpen it, but I'm going to try and make my eye look more rounded. The bottom kind of like a dolly eye effect. So I'm making my pencil sharpener. And I'm gonna line my water line with that too. Okay, for the black liner, four cute little eyelash things on the bottom. So I'll draw that in. So I'm basically just going to outline this uh, white eyeliner, kind of like the lashes, and then do the boop boops, you know, with little lashes on the bottom. Okay, so here's how the top ended up being. Cute, a little bit thicker than I was originally thinking, but it's fine. Okay, I just ate really quick and the lighting got better, so I'm happy about that. Now I'm just gonna draw on the four little eyelashes that she has on the bottom of her lash line. Okay, cute, that's exactly how I wanted it. 
Okay, I'm gonna do the eyebrows quick and then I will put on some mascara, do the other eye, and then I'll come back here and show you how I'm gonna do the top lashes. Um, for my eyebrows though, I just use this shade called Red Sun in here. It basically matches my hair color perfectly. And she kind of has like the little turned up eyebrow kind of a thing, so I'm gonna try to do that a little bit. Cute! Now for the other. Okay, there's the eyebrows. I feel like they look pretty even. So now I'm just gonna do the other eye to get at where this one is. And I'll probably just add mascara because that's not really something you guys need to see putting on. But I'm not gonna put it on my lower lash line just because I'm doing like the illusion of a bigger eye. And if I put the black on my actual eyelashes, it would kind of ruin that illusion. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright, we are back. Actually, let me go plug in my curling iron really quick. I have these little individual lashes. Actually, it's just normal lashes that I cut up. And I'm going to use these to kind of create, like, the more cartoony effect. How she has, like, one, two, three, four, five little lashes. I only have four here. Maybe I'll cut one of these in half. Now we've got five. I think to create more of like the rounded eye effect too, I'm going to take the longest ones and place them towards the center and then make it smaller as it goes out again instead of doing like the bigger ones on the outer corner. Okay, top lashes are on and they look so cute. I think what I'm going to do though to make it more of like the clumpy cartoon kind of look is take some mascara and just run over the false lashes um, and kind of let them clump together more. Okay cute, so that's going to be more of like the cartoon kind of look that I was hoping for. I don't think I'm going to do my lipstick until the hair is done just because, you know. I feel like lipstick kind of has a time limit on it, so let's go over and do the hair quick. Okay, sorry, I don't really have too great of an angle for the bathroom situation, but I gotta see in this mirror here. So I have this tiny curling iron, I have this hairspray, this comb, this styling cream that my hairstylist gave to me and we're just going to try to go for it betty boop's hair is like one of the most important things like her little spiky curl things so i feel like it's really important to do it justice this is gonna be in the frame it's i know it's stupid but okay so she does have like a middle part thing going on let's try to get that first i also have a huge cowlick like right here so um yeah gonna be interesting to work with this and I'm just gonna take little pieces and try to flip them out Okay, I think I'm done with the heat. I feel like it looks pretty cute. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this, of this <laughs> gel. I used it last time. Um, and I'm just going to touch it on these ends and maybe these front pieces to make sure they stay. hair is done it looks so cute so I'm going to put on the lipstick this is a little bit darker of a lipstick than she wears but we'll make it work it's okay and I'm just gonna kind of focus it towards the center which is normally how I put on my lipstick because I like more of a rounded look birch is up here um, <laughs> Yeah. 
fan it out like that. So cute. Okay, I'll put on the outfit now and then that's it. Okay, here's the finished look. I feel like the hair turned out so cute. I'm running late to go out. Um, so I'm gonna just be going out as Betty Boop besides the outfit. I'm gonna change. Again, this is just my take on these characters or people or whatever the costume is because I'm just using things from my wardrobe. So I didn't quite have the same kind of mini red dress that she wears. But I have this vintage romper. This is the one I wore on the single cover for Action. And then I made this garter belt a couple years ago for one of our Valentine's Day shows. Just some elastic and ribbon and lace. And it works perfectly for this. And for shoes, I just decided to wear these mod shoes. Little white shoes with the buckle. So cute. Love this costume idea. Super simple. I feel like the makeup and the hair is really what sells it. Um, so if you have some red in your wardrobe, just do this and you have a perfect costume. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks again to our sponsor, Dossier. Make sure to check out the link down in the description. And I hope you all are having a great start to October. 